Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to proofread the content on your website without ever reading a single word. Okay, so in order for us to proofread content on our website, I'm going to be using a Google Chrome plugin. So I'm going to open up the web browser, Google Chrome, and I'm going to go to this particular extension. It's called Read Aloud, a text to speech voice reader. And it's been installed over a million times so you can see it's very very popular i'm going to click add to chrome and click add extension and you'll see this little microphone pop up here now i can go to any website and in this case i'm going to go to my own website and i'm going to click on website design let's say overview now sometimes i'm writing really really long blog posts right it might be like a thousand plus words and Sometimes when you're sitting there and you're reading a Word document or you're reading content on your website and you're reading lots and lots of content throughout the day, it can get a bit laborious and you, you end up making mistakes, right? You just don't really see all of the mistakes inside your content. So let's say, for example, this first little paragraph here. Let's say if I wanted to proofread it, but I didn't actually want to sit there and read it word for word. What I can do is just, let's just select this first line here, this first sentence. I can select it with my mouse and then I can click on the microphone. When I click on it, the software is going to read out the content here. DCP Web Designers offer a range of affordable web design solutions for business based in London. Right, and that voice is really annoying. So I'm going to click on the little uh, cog icon here. And that takes me to the configure options. And in here, normally I would select English Mail. And I would speed it up slightly, just a slight amount, just a small amount. And I'll click test. Barack Hussein Obama, born August 4th, 1961, is an American politician who served. So for me, that, that voice and that particular speed is about right for me to listen to what it's saying and try and pinpoint mistakes inside my content. Because sometimes you can sit there and read lots and lots and lots of content and you're just reading over it. And you're not really picking up the errors. So if I were to select these two, let's in fact select this whole paragraph. Let's let it read out this whole paragraph. Maybe we'll speed it up a little bit. Let's click here. Let's click on this cog and we'll speed it up slightly. And uh, let's let it read DCP, this. Web designers offer a range of affordable web design solutions for business based in London. At DCP, we use the latest responsive website design coding techniques to make sure your website is mobile friendly. We... So I've purposefully put a mistake in here. It should really read DCP Web Designers offers a range of affordable website design solutions for businesses based in London, not business based in London, right? So there's a few errors in here that I put in here just to illustrate that when you're listening to the content, maybe you can pick up errors. Now, sometimes this content is not actually in a um, on a website. Maybe it's in a Word document, for example. So let's open up Microsoft Word. Imagine you're writing the content for your website and you've got it in this Word document now. So here you can see the content. Let's just uh, fix this here. And for businesses based in London, right? So I can select this content, select it with my mouse. I can copy it. So I'll copy this written content and I'm going to put a link to this other website uh, in the YouTube description. So I'm going to open up a new tab. And it's a website that you can go to that will read out the content as well. It's called TTS Reader. So let's just go back to that Word document quickly. We'll copy this and we'll paste it in here. And just like the other software, you can select UK English default and then I've set it to fast and I can play it in here. So really I'm taking the content from my Word document, pasting it in here, and then I proofread it before I move it to my website. Or if it's a long blog post, you can just leave this. You can cut and paste a thousand words in here and just, you know, uh, do something else. And you can have this playing in the background. You can listen to it and pick up all the mistakes. DCP web designers offer a range of affordable web design solutions for businesses based in London. At DCP, we use the latest responsive website design coding techniques to make sure your website is mobile friendly. So you just read, read out the first two lines there. So you can imagine if you're sitting here having to read a thousand, two thousand words, uh, it's much easier for this screen reader software or if you use this other tool that I've shown you here, for that to read out all of your content. <clears throat> and as it's reading it, you're going you're gonna to see the mistakes or you're going to hear the mistakes in your content. 
And that's how I proofread really, really long blog posts if I'm writing content for my client or if I'm writing content for my website pages and I can spot errors um, using this particular tool. So if it's in a Word document, I use this particular website. And if it's already on my website, then um, I'll use this uh, little tool up here. Now, sometimes I'm using WordPress websites and with WordPress, you might write a really long blog post. And you know in WordPress that you can uh, preview your blog post before you publish it. So what I tend to do is preview the blog post first so I can see it in the web browser. I'll select a piece of it. Normally I select paragraph by paragraph, right? So I'll select this first paragraph, listen to it, then I'll move down maybe, and then I'll select this piece next and I'll listen to that separately. So I'll normally listen to each part separately and then correct the mistakes if there's any mistakes. And then at least I know my content is good. Now believe it or not, if you correct all of your grammar mistakes and all your punctuation, you get good um, you know, paragraphs and you, you make your content good, that can actually help you in the search engine rankings as well. So there's a good advantage of, of using this technique. If your grammar is good and your spelling is good and your um, punctuation is good, uh, if all of that is laid out nicely, then when the search engines like Google come and read that, um, believe it or not, the search engines can actually pinpoint spelling errors and mistakes and stuff like that. If you if your stuff is really really good, or your written content is very very good, then uh, you can actually get a little boost in the search engines and get a better ranking as well. So there's an added advantage of proofreading your content. Now of course you can take a thousand word document and send it to someone else and they can read it for you and correct it for you. But for me, if you can learn that skill yourself, it's going to benefit you more than anyone else. So when you write content for your YouTube. Um, videos for the descriptions when you're writing for your website when you're writing for your blog posts whatever you're writing your content for it's always worth proofreading it afterwards and um, sometimes you might see some repetition in your content uh, like you may be using the word website design too many times in this paragraph and you'll hear that as well sometimes when you read it you don't really notice but when you listen to it back again you'll see the word repeated too many times and that can be con considered keyword stuffing right if it said website design here maybe four or five times in this paragraph it doesn't but if it did then that might be considered keyword stuffing by the search engine you want to avoid that as well so that's the way i do proofreading without actually reading any of the content so you can see i can select this paragraph press that button the speech uh, the text to um speech will read out the content for me i'm not actually reading the content all i'm doing is listening to what it's saying and if um if I hear any mistakes, then I can quickly go and fix them. And then normally I'll just let it read it out one more time just to make sure it's solid. And once it's solid, I'll move on to the next piece of content. And normally I'm working on 500 words to a thousand words uh, when I'm using this particular tool. If it's a short paragraph like that, I might just manually read it. But even if you use this tool, it ain't gonna hurt you, right? Okay, so let's minimize this. We'll delete this document, we don't need that. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. I find that tool particularly useful because I've been rebuilding my new website recently and I've written literally 10,000 words plus. Um, and to proofread all of that content, was I was finding it not difficult, but I was finding it very time consuming. So I use these tools, I found these tools and I've used them. And um, like always, if I find something that I think is very useful, then I like to share that to everyone uh, that subscribes to my YouTube channel or if you come across this video. So, last of all, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, write a comment uh, if you've got anything that you want to say about this particular tutorial, or if you've got a better tool, if you've got one that you know of, maybe a Chrome extension that I haven't used or demonstrated in this video, if you know a better tool, then uh, list that in the comments so you can share that with other people. That's the end of this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.